Hey everybody, Gunnison Undercover. Today is Saturday, June 29th, 2019, and the day is winding down. It was in the 90s today, humidity, a little rainstorm came through later in the day, and now it's in the mid-70s with a little breeze starting to cool off. So I have my pick of the week for the Copaganda story on Facebook. And this week's winner goes to Point Pleasant Beach Police Department. And uh, here it is right there. We'll snap shot, screenshot that and put it up for you. And the link, you can read it. And it reads as follows in big captions. A reminder to all residents. Due to a rash of recent car thefts and car burglaries in and around the area, the Point Pleasant Beach Police Department strongly recommends that you lock your vehicles and do not leave your keys, key FOB, inside your vehicle. If you observe any suspicious activity in your area, please report it immediately to the police department. And their number is 732-892-0500. And I uh, posted on here, and just a reminder to our police, less trolling for dollars and more patrolling for crime. And I posted this on my Facebook, and uh, what did I write on there? Yeah, just, just a reminder, we're too busy generating revenue to patrol, so make sure you lock your door, car doors, and take your valuables. Well, this is what I read into that posting. Maybe you can tell me if I'm right or wrong. See, they're not good. It's time after time, there's so much evidence out there. They're not good at stopping crime. What they're good at is taking the report. They're very good at taking reports. They can be very creative on reports. So they put a message like that saying, basically saying, we can't do our job. Even though we're getting paid, some of us are getting paid six figures to ride around a car. We all know what they do the bulk of their day. Point Pleasant Beach, I know what they're doing. They're hanging out by the main highway, doing revenue enforcement. That's why cars are getting broken, because nobody's patrolling the neighborhood. They're too busy stealing money from drivers, from motorists because that's an easy thing for them to do. It doesn't require much. They just sit on the side of the road or some park lot and watch us, stare at us with their plate reader or their little uh, radar thing that they're doing. That's, that's what they do because that's the, only thing, that's the only crime that they can honestly say they can catch. And I don't consider it a crime. So they do all that to generate the revenue because the towns need that revenue and if they don't get the revenue, they're going to have to raise your taxes. So that's the way to get around all that. But they're too busy stalking motorists to be patrolling the neighborhood. And just like I said about Homedale Township Police and Colts Neck Police, they're too busy doing revenue enforcement. They don't patrol the neighborhoods and cars and houses get broken into. and. Point Pleasant Beach Police, they want you, the taxpayer, who are paying them, to be more, be more vigilant with your car because they're telling you, we can't stop the crime. We can't catch anybody. We can only take the report. That's my pick of the week for Copaganda. And a reminder to everybody out there, you see something, you record something, but also say something. Go follow your local police departments and watch their Facebook postings and see what ridiculousness they put up there. Watch how they manipulate children. Watch how they're asking for your help. Even though they're getting paid $100,000 a year or more to sit in a car, they seem to think that we should help them. I say start patrolling, less trolling. It's Gunnison Undercover. Until next time.